Uh, have you ever have you ever just wondered? Um, what has a guy been up to? You may remember magician Chris Angel. He had a show on television called Mind Freak, where he would basically walk around and do what? What just happened? We got another. Oh, somebody's joining up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So he, uh, you know, <laughs> he had a show called Mind Freak where he walks around and does street magic, uh, kind of a la David Blaine, and tries to blow people's mind. Now, he combines um, the look of a goth scene kid kind of angsty teen with angry dad energy you know a guy who's probably in his 40s when mind freak was on mind freak are you ready remember that are you ready it's a big cool show so uh he got a show in vegas um with cirque du soleil which short-lived cirque du soleil dropped their name off of his show um, because it sucked. Honestly, it really sucked. I went and saw this show. Every Cirque du Soleil show I've ever seen has been amazing. This show was garbage from beginning to end. He does about seven basic ass vanishes. It's just a garbage show where he basically shows slides of himself when he was young. It, it jerking himself off. Here's clips of my TV show. Here's all the success I had. Signing books and stuff. It's just garbage. It's, it's a, a, a circle jerk. So then he had his own show, uh, which is basically the same thing, um, but without the Cirque du Soleil name and some of the budget, you would imagine. And I didn't know this, but he, he's had a couple other shows after those contracts get canceled. And most recently, earlier this year, he was supposed to open a show called uh, A Mystica, Chris Angel. Um, to dis debut a second show at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, Chris Angel performs illusions, special effects, and stunts in a new production, a Mystica, the Mind Freak prequel. He can't let go of this Mind Freak shit. That premiered this month at Planet Hollywood Resort and Cas Casino. A Mystica promises a euphoric, enigmatic world with a firestorm, tornado, and a blizzard of snow, according to the press announce announcement. They roll garbage through the theater. You know, he loves to do these big, uh, the one I went and saw, he had like a hundred doves fly from the back to the front of the theater as if we all want to get shit on. He loves these big sweeping, uh, you know, stage shows. Um, the mask, liar, liar, Ace Ventura, dumb and dumber, best actor of our generation, Says Lev, he's joined for 19 months. Thanks, Lev, over on YouTube. Uh, really appreciate all the support on Rockfin and YouTube, you guys. Franco Dragon uh, from uh, O Mystery. The, those are big Cirque shows. And Celine Dion's A New Day is the co-creator of the production. So you got you got some pedigree. Behind this, maybe this will end up being a good show. Who knows? This is a new breed of entertainment that's beautiful, haunting, mysterious, and inspiring, Angel said. This is the same shit he's always done. Ooh, I'm such a mysterious... It's douche. Big crosses, the gothic look, the wet black hair, the sunglasses. You look like Pete Davidson got mashed into a waffle iron. We believe it will be an immersive utopia. Don't worry, it won't be. The show got delayed. Rumor was they were having production issues. Chris Angel denies it. Struggles. News to me. This show opened in April. May, June, July, August, September, October. Chris Angel permanently closes Las Vegas magic show. Just a few months. Chris Angel has made a mystica 
disappear. Got him, baby. Got him. Um, the last performance of his Planet Hollywood Magic Variety Show is Saturday, October 15th. This is this year. According to a statement posted to the Magician's Instagram account only the night before. The show opened in April and ran for only 26 weeks. According to the statement, it's being converted to a touring show for international locations. So they said due to unforeseen circumstances, they got to close this show. And maybe they'll take it on tour as if that's the problem. People aren't coming to see it. We got to take it to the people. And they really, really, really want to push this narrative. So they got this, the open, the, by the way, these pictures are, are the happy pictures from when it opened. Not the pictures from just months later when it crashed to the ground. By the way, how bad did it crash to the ground? Let me, let me show you in a minute. So let me show you in a minute. You ready for this? Is a tour next. Imagine the gall of the spin. A mystic is destined to serve as Frank DeGroen's final directorial production, but the show is not destined for the long run at Planet Hollywood and its final performance Saturday night. Saturday night. About 150 folks showed up. Oh, no. Good crowd for, say, Tuscany's Pizza Lounge. <laughs> Sorry, Tuscany's Piazza Lounge, but in a 1,400-plus seat theater, ouch! In a show that featured a fake storm blowing debris through the theater is now picking up the pieces. A Mystica opened in April and ran 26 weeks. Hello? Fail much? <laughs> Chris Angel, who partnered with DeGrone in the autobiographical Magic Variety production, announced on his social media pages Friday, the show was halting immediately. The veteran ma Magic headliner used due to recent unforeseen events as a reason. Dog, you have a 1,400-seat a theater, and you got 150 people coming on a Saturday night. Now, as if... To elude irrelevance forever. This guy can't stop swinging from one safe project to another. And he seems to hit the eject button before everything fails. He gets a Mystica in April. He launches this. You know, he can say, oh, the last one, uh, COVID, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> This one launches in April, complete flop. In a Vegas that's thriving, by the way. Last month, highest average room rate ever here in Las Vegas, $209. That's high. It's high, dog. Up $30 in just one month. So things are popping. There's shows here. Things are going on. You know, maybe move it over to Tusky, Tuscany's Piazza Lounge, huh? 150 people turned up. I mean, there's no demand for this guy. There's no demand for this guy. So this show, this show ends in Vegas, October 15th. October 22nd, he launches a new project on the CW called Chris Angel's Magic with the Stars. On the CW magic comes alive as Chris Angel presents a star-studded competition that will blow your mind. You did an amazing job. Chris Angel's Magic with the Stars. Stream free now, only on the CW app. Stream free only on the CW app. As if anyone's ever doing that. So I go, I go look at this video, and I go, holy shit. This is like Fool Us with Penn and Teller, minus the personality. 
I couldn't believe what I saw over on the CW's website. This is 100% true. You zoom into this video trailer for Chris Angel. By the way, this is the only mention of it on their website. This is the only thing they've used to promote. They have no other videos, no segments from the show. This show has been on for uh, for five weeks now. October 22nd, it launched. Zoom in on this trailer video over on the CW for a good laugh. The CW has 1.39 million subscribers. This video has 805 views. It also has two comments. Awesome and here. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy. You got a million and a half su subscribers on a channel. 800 are watching Chris Angel videos. You would, It's almost like you could imagine no one was watching this show. And five weeks in, Nielsen confirms zero Point zero. Did you know that was a rating that somebody could get? Did you know that was a rating a person or thing could achieve? Like his mom's watching. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Chris Angel's magic with the stars nails five straight weeks of zero Ratings. And by the way, would you have a look at Chris Angel now, baby? I've always looked like a piece of garbage, but look at this photo of Chris Angel. You know, wow. Just so you know, when Mind Freak was on the air, he was this. And now this, this looks like a lesbian PE teacher. This looks like a, an Ursula stand-in. At a community theater production of Hey, Hey, We're the Little Mermaid. This, got, this is not going well <laughs> for this man. Hey, maybe drop the guy liner in 2022. We're not doing that anymore. So I thought this was a great story arc to put in. Today, little local Vegas stuff. We'll talk about Chris Angel. And I was like, what a great scam. You know, he got this TV show because of the, the Vegas show. But the Vegas show failed. And now the TV show failed. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? And I wanted to know what he had going on. So I kept investigating and I found out that he has a restaurant called Chris Angel's Breakfast, Lunch, and Pizza. Now, it's not called that. It's called Kablup. C-A-B-L-P. It's not pronounceable. Error number one in the business plan. But I noticed that as soon as Chris Angel's TV show has flopped and will not be renewed, you know, we're six weeks in, we got to know that it's not going well. We're not going to be picked up. Zero, zero is a hard climb, dog. You know what I mean? At least he has the restaurant to fall back on. I see this story November 9th just happened. Chris Angel's Nevada restaurant is the site of a legend arson fire. Oh, no. <laughs> the photo shows magician Chris Angel at the opening of a Nevada restaurant. Cabal Pictured above. Great logo. Unpronounceable name. Cabal The eatery was the site of a suspicious fire. Uh, the fire... Uh, firefighter said, by the time I got there, it was mainly just contents, uh, mainly just a contents fire burning on the back porch of the building. 
So it led me to wonder, did Chris Angel burn down his own business for the insurance money? So I went on Yelp and I looked looked it up. I said, did they have bad reviews? Were they not doing well? And it has pretty good reviews over four stars. So I said, hmm, you know, maybe Chris Angel's not a bad guy. Maybe he didn't burn it down. Then I found out that this restaurant closed for a month last year uh, because they couldn't get people to work and they couldn't, uh, because of the supply chain, they didn't have food. So they weren't making money. And apparently now the prices have gone way up and they're also having trouble again uh, with staff and making money. And then it, then it goes up in flames. Um, I wanted to check out Chris Angel's restaurant, Cabal Pup. So I went to the website. This is the website. I wish I was kidding. Uh, I I sham not. This is the website. Um, let's go over some stuff. I, do you guys mind? Should we go over some stuff on the menu of Chris Angel's breakfast, lunch, and pizza? Cabal pup? C Cabal. Here we go. They have drinks. Get your drinks on. Shakes. Chris's ultimate shake with souvenir cup. $8.99 for 22 ounces. Chris masterminded the Cabal signature shake from his father's own recipe. This sad 56-year-old guy liner wearing magician who turns everything he touches into failure is making his dad's milkshake recipe. This is one of the saddest tableaus I've ever seen. My daddy's milkshake recipe. Ugh. <laughs> Extra thick, extra rich, extra cool in chocolate, vanilla, or black and white. Made with creamy ice cream, frozen milk, and topped with whipped cream. <laughs> um, eat with a spoon or good luck with a straw. Double shot of absolute vodka for a deeper mind freeze. Everything on this menu has to be, like, a gimmick. He can't, like, he's one of these guys that, like, had a brand and can't let it go. No one knows you. No one knows your name is spelled C-R-I-S-S. -S. We think that's gay. <laughs> Mind freeze. And then he's got Java Freak. Espresso bar. Be the bean. It's like, this is crap, dog. It gets worse. Uh, he's got, you're getting sleepy appetizers like the crispy chicken poppers. These are breaded white meat, crispy golden fried chicken poppers. This, this restaurant serves like movie theater food. It's like, what is this place? And of course, he has the cabal salad. I'm not. These are actual screenshots on their website of the menu. He took a shitty f photo. You can see the shadow and the hands of the person who took the photo of his Hollywood Walk of Fame star, if that is, is even real. The cabal salad. Mixed greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, sliced red onions, carrots, and crispy croutons. With your choice of dressing. Add chicken to the salad for twelve sixty nine. That's a very specific number. I like that they have a kid's meal, which I think is great. They call it Chris's Bag of Tricks. Look at the car. Ignore the menu for a minute. And just look at the cartoon they've yo cho yo <laughs> chosen here. This is like the gayest looking kid. Like, Chris Angel looks like a girl here. And by the way, we all know he doesn't look like this anymore. You know? He looks like the lady in Total Recall whose head comes apart. Two weeks! 
But in his mind, he's still the, are you ready, guy. Each comes with a magic trick. His kids' meals come with a magic trick taught by Chris and a soft drink. Now, is this a link to a YouTube video where he teaches them a magic trick? Or is this like a little pamphlet where this animated twink <laughs> teaches children tricks? Grilled cheese, spaghetti with tomato sauce, chicken poppers with phenom chip fries, cheeseburger with phenom chip fries. Uh, <laughs> don't forget the, uh, you want a pizza me? Personal size 10 inch pizza. You can get the mind freak classic famous East coast style pizza. With only the finest old world ingredients. So good. Chris brought it here from the East Coast. Okay. Uh, this is where things start getting very inappropriate. The famous burgers. Nice buns and a big pickle. Does he think that's... Grilled eight ounces of, so a half pound burger of 100% pure beef, melted cheddar cheese served on a toasted brioche bun loaded with bacon and our all American barbecue sauce. Topped off with onion rings and served with a big old pickle. <laughs> okay, Chris. How often do you think he goes to this place? Do you think he goes in there? He's like, we're still doing the big pickles, right? Let him know. Do you say it? Do you say it when they order it? Do you say nice buns and a big pickle? Cool, cool, cool. Definitely, definitely. Hey, have you guys seen my lady? He's always annoying the employees. <laughs> he wants to show them new tricks all the time. You guys seen my big pickle? Our all-American barbecue sauce. This is generic as fuck. <laughs> this is generic as fuck. Um, this is the creepiest part of the menu. Give the gift of cabal, cabal gift cards and reserve the magic room or the love table for that special occasion. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah, we're going to Chris Angel's new restaurant. We're having the chicken poppers. And if you're looking for us, we'll be at the love table. Just finger blasting each other. While a nearly 60-year-old eyeliner wearing... Do you think he has that permanent makeup like Carrot Top? Do you think he went to Carrot Top? He's like, you got to tell me your guy. And then Carrot Top looked back at him and it was just like, are you ready? 